Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon and we're gonna do an update on that Image Comics Union. It looks like Image Comics is not going to voluntarily recognize the workers' new union, according to Gizmodo, according to Twitter. Twitter is very, very upset. We're gonna talk about that. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Over 239,000 subs. Thank you so much for the support. We do talk about comics. We talk about the comic book industry. Having worked in the comic book industry ourselves, and you can also go out to shopclownfish.com and pick up a copy of Shadowbinders. Uh, we self-published that comic. Uh, anyway, we've been covering the drama around the proposed union that images uh, office workers, not creatives, not creatives, images uh, nine or 10 office workers want to form a union. Of course, uh, you know, Twitter loves the idea of them forming a union. Twitter is like, you know, stick it to the man, you know, stand up for your rights. And it is, again, the office staff and not the creatives. People don't seem to understand that. And Image, uh, we did a video yesterday talking about it, seemingly was not going to recognize this union. They put a statement out saying, we basically treat you all fairly. What is the deal? And now they've released another statement kind of doubling down on that, that they're not going to voluntarily recognize this new union, that they're going to have to vote on it. Um, you know, and Twitter is uh, losing its shit. They're turning on Image Comics. They are. This is, a, this is a publisher that is currently based in Portland. God, I bet they wish they never moved to Portland. This is what you get for moving to Portland, Image. Uh, anyway... Let's talk about this. Uh, Gizmodo, Image Comics is refusing to voluntarily recognize its workers' new union. Uh, Image Comics want to form a union. The workers, the office staff, not the creatives, the office staff. Uh, but the publisher isn't going to voluntarily recognize them. Uh, earlier in the week, the workers of Image Comics, office staff, not creatives, uh, announced the formation of the Comic Book Workers United, a unionized effort to push for a number of significant changes in the workplace related to equity, accessibility, and transparency in the company. Well, that's part of it. Uh, a big part of why they want to unionize is the same reason that uh, a lot of people wanted to unionize over at Kickstarter. They wanted the ability to veto any problematic creators, uh, cancel any problematic creators, uh, cancel any problematic books according to the union. They want the ability to be able to dictate the content. Now, if they had said, hey, we want this, this, and this without throwing that part in, you know, they might have gotten a little more sympathy from, from people like myself. But the fact of the matter is that like Kickstarter, they're sneaking in the uh, desire the demand to be able to control the company's content. And that is the antithesis of everything that Image Comics was about. Uh, the Image guys left to be able to publish whatever the hell they wanted to publish, to have complete editorial control and complete financial control over their creations. You know, bringing uh, people in, a bunch of 25-year-old uh, editorial assistants in to micromanage what you can and can't publish, who you can and can't hire, uh, isn't going to go very well. It's not going to sit very well with, I don't think, with guys like Todd McFarlane who have made a career out of telling people to sit and spin. Uh, Image was initially reluctant to comment on the CB, the CBWU's formation and whether it would recognize the union as the company subsequently said in a statement it has always believed in the fair and equitable treatment of staff and has always strived to support employees to the best of its ability. Yeah, in that statement, I took it to mean like, guys, what the hell? What the hell? We've always been fair. What the hell? The most straightforward and immediate step image could take to support its employees and their decision to become a union shop uh, would be to simply acknowledge the union, start communicating in good faith with a bargaining committee. Instead, though, Image has opted to bring the National Labor Relations Board in as a third party. This happened to one of the companies I worked for, too. And actually, the owner of the company got so fed up with the situation, he sold the company. And they fired a bunch of the employees that were attempting to unionize, and they went in a totally different direction. Anyway, in a statement provided the motherboard, Image explained that it would like to hold a secret ballot vote overseen by the NLRB to determine whether the Communications Workers of America union should represent them. This is the same people that uh, have pushed for unions at different blogs. And, uh, you know, earlier this week, the Communication Workers of America filed 
a representation petition with the NLRB asking to hold a secret ballot election so that eligible members of the Image Comics office staff can determine if they want the CWA to represent them in their employment with Image. Image said the NLRB is currently reviewing that petition to determine when that election will be held, where it will take place, and who can vote. Manio 9 spoke with the CBWU earlier this week via email about the push to organize. It said the Image had not been in direct contact about voluntary recognition. Uh, they hoped, however, the image would come around and seeing things from their perspective. We're asking image to voluntarily recognize our union. Uh, they're not going to do that. And, uh, you know, again, I think a lot of it, it's not even the uh, demands as far as, you know, fair hours and fair pay and that sort of thing. I think it was the fact that they snuck in at the very end of their list of demands, the uh, ability to be able to veto any creator and any project that they vote on. Like the employees should not, the office staff should not be able to steer the ship, you know, and this is happening at, at uh, uh, Spotify. This is happening at, uh, you know, Netflix, where the employees think they have the right to dictate the content of, you know, and it's like, look, no, you don't. You don't like the content. You don't like the kind of content being produced. Go someplace else. God knows there are plenty of jobs out there. So Twitter is losing its shit. They put the statement out, right? And uh, Twitter is absolutely losing its shit. They're actually actively hoping for Image Comics to fail at this point. And they misunderstand what Image was about, by the way. I have a personal opinion. Uh, actually, it's not an opinion. It's fact. Fact. They, are, they, they fundamentally misunderstand what the original Image founders were about. They're about creative control, uh, owning your shit, and getting paid fairly for things you created. These office staffers created nothing. Nothing. I'm not saying they shouldn't be treated fairly. I'm not saying they don't work hard or whatever. But uh, they're not creating anything. Uh, so here we have some of these tweets. We got Spearman to tell Image Comics to recognize the union. Oofa doofa. Um, one of the reasons I love image is because of what they stand for, which is breaking the cycle and being a leader for change. The statement, uh, is them kind of tiptoeing around the issue. No, they're not tiptoeing around it. Uh, laughing. Yeah, of course, of course. The hypocrisy, remembering the reason image comics was made. No image comics was made. So creators didn't have to kowtow to office staff. In fact, I remember an interview with Rob Liefeld where he was very angry that, you know, these 20 somethings were telling him what to do. And he was like 20 something himself, but he was making the company money and they were telling him what to do. And he's like, no. And, you know, they weren't getting a, what they believed to be a fair share of the profits from, you know, the, the Marvel comics, you know? So it was, it was, you know, it was a greed based move. Really. It wasn't about them being, uh, poorly treated. It was about them feeling that they were underpaid for the number of comics that they were selling and not liking editorial oversight. That's how Image got started. I was there, man. I was there. I read all those, those wizard interviews. Uh, Benji, the company was founded and the values of supporting creators recognized the union. These people are not the creators, they're office staff. I'm sorry. There is a difference. Not saying they're not working, but they're not creators. Sad to see Image, a company built on revolutionizing the industry, won't do their part to keep that going for employees. The irony of the way this company was founded, and then all these years later, the founders won't recognize the union. What a joke. Not even Image Comics will do the clearly moral thing in card check. The entire company was founded in protest of unfair working conditions at Marvel. Really shameful. No. They wanted more money and they didn't want editorial interference. They wanted a bigger piece of the pie. They wanted to, it wasn't that they were necessarily being treated unfairly. They just wanted to own their shit. That's what happened. That's what happened. Stop rewriting history. That's what happened. Uh, to be clear, a union of non-creatives, office staff. Yes, Larry. Yes, Larry. Uh, not people that write, draw, create comics, non-creatives that want the ability to cancel titles over accusations and the ability to reinstate the title if meaningful, who gets to decide that, reparations are made. Yeah, I agree. Uh, Vito, Image is about to go out of business, LOL. I think they will if they approve the union and they'll find a, they'll find a way to get rid of those workers. 
they'll reorganize or something. Goodbye, Image. I hope IDW follows suit for the workers. <sighs> uh, Joey Esposito, I love Image, but you'd think a company founded by creators who wanted a better workplace would be unquestionably down for giving their employees a better workplace. <laughs> It's 100% within your power to recognize the union without using the NLRB as a mediator. Do it. Yeah, this is cowardly shit. Recognize the union. Uh, yes, please kneel to these low-talent psychopaths and drive this pathetic company into the ground. <laughs> uh, make it clear what gatekeeping scum you are. Um, I don't see this. I don't see this going very well. Predictable cowardice. Disappointing and unsurprising. Image Comics not giving in to the woke mob. They're consulting their good friends Joe Rogan and Aaron Rodgers before deciding anything. Recognize the union. We literally are interested in anything else as your readers. Uh, we recognize the union. You absolute piece of garbage. Bestie, please don't be the bad guy here. Uh, Perch, who is very familiar with the comic book uh, retail space. A lot of hell, yeah, let's go from people who have not fully digested. This will cover 12, one dozen people. That's more than I thought, actually. Zero creatives, freelancers, and misunderstand how Image Comics are actually produced. Yes, Image Comics is not a comic book factory. It is a number of independent creators and independent studios that turn in more or less completed comic books that get released under the banner. It's a bunch of little, separate little companies under one umbrella. It's kind of like a, a co-op, like a market co-op. If you've ever been to one of those where you have several vendors under one roof, it seems like it's one store, but it's actually multiple people kind of running their own shit under one roof. That's kind of what Image Comics does. It's not like Marvel or DC. And the thing is, is if Image goes for this, then workers at Marvel and DC will demand it as well. And I can tell you where they are at with Disney and Warner right now, it ain't going to happen. Like they'll, they'll freaking shut the company down and be like, yeah, we're going to outsource all of our comics from now on to some other country that's not going to pull this shit because your comics aren't making enough to make it worth our time. Interesting, compared to the response from uh, Paizo, um, where Paizo voluntarily recognized the union bypassing the need for a vote. Well, good for Paizo, I guess. Recognize the fucking union. You know what has amazing positive long-term benefits? Recognizing the dignity and value of work, providing a stable, equitable work environment that pays a living wage and has clearly defined roles and standards. You know what makes that possible? Unions. You know what makes it possible for Image Comics to stay in business? Creatives. You know who who, who is being left out in the cold in this whole thing? The, the creatives that actually bring the money to the company. I'm just, just saying. Support the union image. It's the right thing to do. Uh, just recognize the union. Ah, oh, boy. Do, 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 do. I don't know, man. Yeah, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. Um, am I the only one who keeps reading these statements from Image and getting hella concerned they're about to go full-on evil empire? Uh, Image was the purest representation of capitalism back in the day. They, they cashed in on the greed of the uh, speculator market in the early 1990s. Uh, guys like Todd McFarlane, Rob Liefeld, you know, even Jim Valentino, even Jim Lee, they wanted their fair share of the pie. Comics were selling big, big numbers. A lot of money was being made and they wanted, they wanted it. They wanted their, their fair share. Very capitalist company. And then they moved to Portland. I don't know what the hell happened. Anyway, I'm gonna wrap this one up. <laughs> Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll, we'll talk later.